Hello dear friends, welcome to this video of learning Tassie. I want to show you one of the most practical tools in Tassie. It is compass boxes. We can use compass box for making borders or doing some geometric works. And I want to show you how to use it for making rectangular or circular borders. Let's go. We need a set of professional compass box here. It has a simple compass and this is very important tool today. I will show you how to use it. As you can see, I have some narrow borders here. I want to color them using this tool. I'm using gouache colors. It is opaque and has a higher level of density. It is water-based, so I can reactivate it by adding some water and playing with it using one of my brushes. In this tool, we have a small screw which helps us to have wider or narrower borders. I can put the color inside it in this way. Using one brush. Then I can test it on my finger and going to the border. I'm using the back side of my ruler so I have uh, some space between the paper and the ruler. It makes me be sure it will be safe if I take it off the paper while the color is still wet. I repeat it for all sides. I'm making more videos for you about traditional arts, so please subscribe if you are interested. Now I will wash my tool in water and I will dry it using a tissue. And it is very important because you need to have clean tool before using it for another color. Then I want to have a wider and red color border.
Please bear with me. I want to show you how to use this tool for circular borders, which you can see in Tazib artworks. You can easily add this extension to your compass in this way. And then all of the steps are the same as before. Always hold your compass using the upper part of it and not the arms. And these borders are more beautiful if you put warm and cold, cold colors next to each other. One important point here is your color density. You should add a good amount of water inside your colors because if you add more water, lots of color will come out of this tool suddenly and it will ruin your border like this. You can see there is lots of color suddenly in the beginning of my border. Straight. 